In the days before radio communication, different bell sequences were used by many cities to alert the firefighters as to the location of the fire. The sequence you just heard, three sets of five tones, was adopted by many jurisdictions to denote a firefighter who had been fallen. September 11th dawned a beautiful, sunny, warm, late summer day, almost cloudless like today. We appreciate you taking the time, and we appreciate the Hollywood Casino at Charlestown Races having us over here to remember those who were killed and injured that day. The victims can be divided into four groups. The civilians who suffered the largest losses denoted by the United Airlines and American Airlines hats, almost 2,600 civilians died. The airplane crews were the first victims, followed by the passengers, and then the victims in the trade centers and the Pentagon. The police, represented by the FDNY hat, or the fire, excuse me, represented by the FDNY hat, lost 343 firefighters that day. The law enforcement, represented by the Port Authority and NYPD hats, had the most law enforcement officers killed in any one day in history. The Port Authority lost 37 officers and one canine. NYPD lost 23, and there were a few other law enforcement officers lost. The military. The military lost 55 that day, but we also know that they lost far more in the war on terror. If you're not already standing, please stand with us as we pause with some moments of silence. We remember the crew and passengers of American Flight 11 and the victims in the World Trade Center, North Tower, as well as their families. We remember the crew and passengers of United Flight 175, as well as the victims in the South Tower and the other World Trade Center towers. The empty picture frame represents the families that lost that day. We remember the crew and passengers of American Flight 77, and the victims and their families in the Pentagon. We remember United Flight 93. In Pennsylvania, there's a memorial being erected and there's a hole that will forever be there where the first heroes in the war on terror met their demise. We remember all those who have given their lives in defense of our freedom, especially those in the war on terror and their loved ones. We also think of those who are on the front right now defending our freedoms and this country and the families that await their safe return.
thank Mark Johnson and Alex Omet and Colleen Warners for the for the buglers and ladies and gentlemen, Colleen Warner will now present our national anthem. Dr. Christie, to put this uh, fantastic uh, remembrance together. Special thanks goes out to everyone on the front apron tonight, including uh, our uh, local talent, the Buglers, Mark Johnson and Alex Ament, and of course our soloist, Colleen Wormer, with her excellent performance of the National Anthem here today at Charlestown. <laughs> 